well it's a bright day out today the rain has taken a break and so I just decided to hop onto the car on the wind and check out this um, short hike this lake about 20 kilometers away from downtown uh, just generally cruising around and hopefully it's gonna be a quiet day and not a lot of people in the park uh, yeah we'll see I'm gonna get there I'm gonna focus on driving now oh, yeah to be very crowded. What is this mist? The cloud that it kicked up by vehicles or whatever. Man, I just feel my spirits lift getting out of the city. So happy to get out of the city, the jam is terrible. Been stuck in traffic for the past 20 minutes. Start and stop, start and stop. And now I've just crossed the bridge, so smooth the traffic all around. I feel my spirits lift. Just getting out of the city. Yeah. Well. We're here. This is where we're heading to. Man, I thought there would be nobody, but there are people here. There's still people here. I guess Vancouverites really love their nature, huh? Maybe if I hate deeper in there, I'll lose the crowd. What do you know? Good thing I didn't bring Rue along. No dogs on this trail. It's just me. So, onward. Love it. I think I lost the crowd. Good, good, good. As soon as I said I lost the crowd, turn around and there's a random person behind me. <laughs> there's a path in here that leads me to this lone bench. Facing a portion of the lake. Not the most scenic view, but I'm gonna keep on walking to see if the views get better. Here's another lookout. Let's have a look.
Well, what, did, uh, what do you guys think? Should I go down there? I shall. Watch me step here. Ooh. Well, thank God the dog's not here. If she's here, she's gonna drag me down to my death. Oh look, another lookout spot. There's a bench. Nice. Look at that. Wonder if you can canoe in here. And another clearing. I'm gonna go check it out. See if there's a better view. I mean, to be honest, this lake is pretty accessible. Like, you could just walk right up the edge. It's not the most picturesque, but... Well, still nice. It's a small lake after all in the whole scheme of lakes in BC. And most of these little clearings, if you can see, people just take their sport and cast the line. Try to catch some fish like this guy is doing right here. See that? Yeah. And just like that, we've done a loop of the lake and uh, heading back to the car. You know, I didn't spend a lot of time here, I think. Maybe just slightly under two hours, but there's just something about getting out in nature that resets everything. Like you'd have been pissed off at work during the work week or holding a grudge against somebody that slighted you whatever like somebody that just cut you off at the light bad traffic whatever but you know, it's just something about nature that i find is just it resets everything you know um and i guess this is one of the real reasons why we moved here to british columbia something to be said about you know all in 24 hours you can hike the mountains you can ski you can Go surfing, you can go for a hike, all we need in the span of 24 hours and that's something really rare. And so, just really thankful to be right here now. Yeah. So, made it back to the car before it got dark. Just sitting here, enjoying my packed lunch. I got some fries, sandwich, and a fried chicken to go. And then I'm gonna be getting coffee on the way back. Yeah, hope you enjoy this vlog of sorts. Uh, you know, just speaking my mind, unvarnished, unfiltered, unscripted. Just some, you know, rambling thoughts of a wandering soul. Um, see you guys on the next one if there ever is one. Mm. By the way guys, have you heard about the uh, North American dining experience? Because you're staring at it right now. Yep.
eating in your car is a thing here.